everyone. Hi. Hello, Sven. Thank you. Hello, hello. Hello, Christoph. Hi. So maybe uh, give it a few minutes, uh, try to uh, reach quorum and <laughs> get kicked off. Very good idea. Uh, anyone interested in hosting or uh, running the meeting? Hello. So if there are no volunteers, I can do that. And I would wait one more minute and then we can start. Uh, I'll volunteer to take notes. Okay, then I'd like to uh... Thank you for participating in this uh, working group web assembly call. Uh, first, uh, I, I see some not really new faces, but new faces in this call. Do, does somebody want to introduce uh, himself? Just say hi. Hey, uh, this is my first uh, meeting. Uh, I'm this is the first meeting that I'm attending. So I'm hi, I'm Rajas. I'm a Kubernetes contributor, mostly involved in the sick testing and the network side of things. I work at VMware and um of late I've gotten interested in Wasm. So yeah, uh, happy to help with whatever's needed over here. And you know, I'm uh, looking forward to work with you. So yeah. Hi, uh, my name is Jorge. I'm uh, I work with Docker. Um, one of the things I've been involved recently is in the run WASI shims so that uh, we can run WebAssembly things in, inside of Docker or Kubernetes. And yeah, I'm here to learn a, a little bit more about where we are going. Great. James. Hey, I'm, I'm James. Uh... I've been involved in the run WASI a little bit, um, been working on adding Windows support across the stack so that we could get that support there. And uh, I've been also working on the OCI artifacts um, for WASM containers running in run WASI, which I'm gonna show a little uh, demo of today so that we can uh, move forward with that. Already excited to see that. Okay, then I would uh, dive into today's agenda. So 
uh, I have put a little uh, to uh, topic on the agenda. Not sure if I can share the screen. Let me try that. Uh, Not working uh, as I ex uh, expected, but uh, I hope you can see my screen. It's um, about the uh, CNCF landscape for WebAssembly, which is uh, this one. So uh, I would say a long time ago, we had the idea to uh, create a uh, landscape, which is a living document and uh, projects are added uh, and uh, maintained by the projects but uh yeah after we created an initial version i would say not that much has happened uh, happened so we had uh the uh crosslet here the uh wasm cloud but uh, many other projects we have on uh, mentioned in our charter are uh not on this uh, landscape and i think uh with these specifications, uh, it's a little bit outdated what we have here. So um, the uh, landscape can be maintained with the official repository. And uh, I think theoretically, everybody can uh, uh, just uh, add the projects uh, he's working on. Um, so uh, yeah, I just want to advertise it a little bit. Um, I would, uh, uh, yeah, update it in the next weeks, I think. And uh, if you have something like uh, Run Wazi, which is not mentioned here, uh, it would be a good thing to add. So um, not sure if you have immediate ideas what's worth adding here. So since uh, you don't have time to uh, think about it before, I. Uh, I'm not sure, but uh, if you have any ideas, just reach out to me or just directly uh, create a pull request. Oh, I don't expect um, uh, immediate feedback. If you have something, you can just uh, raise a hand and speak up. So it, it could be nice if you can uh, show us then how or what's the repository where we have to submit the pull request. Just understand better how that process uh, works, because I think it would be nice, like to if if we spread that work on on different pull requests. Sure, um, I share it afterwards in the uh, working group channel. So uh, we that can sounds all, good. I'll, I'll see you. Thank you. Then I would hand over to James with the next agenda point. If you are prepared, you can start. Sure. Um, so uh, let me share my screen. Able to see the screen. Okay. Um, so I've got, uh, so I was talking to David, and David thought this might be a good topic to kind of bring to the group here um, since it is across a bunch of different projects and communities in the ecosystem. Um, but one of the things uh, I've been working on is trying to bring um, OCI artifact support for WASM. Uh, and so I have um, a initial PR into container D to support this as well into uh, run WASI um, for both the WASM time and the WASM edge shim. Um, and uh, there's some some details in here, but you know um, 
some of the some of the nice things about potentially moving towards an artifact is that this artifact would be cross-platform. It would just contain the, the WASM modules and a little bit of config hey, to be able to. Yes. I'm sorry to interrupt you, uh, but the view is pretty small. I'm not sure if it's small for others. Um, oh, okay. Is that? I don't know what I'm. What other people are seeing. Uh, it seems that we see a wider screen, but only the uh, window with the browser is. Uh, so it's not full screen. A little bit better, yeah. I can. Does that help? So, oh yeah. So for me, that that's uh, way better. Okay. Cool. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so uh, each um, component would be, or um, module would be a part of the, the WASM specification. Um, it, this also helps avoid, right, right now we're packaging it as a container and inside the container is the WASM module. Um, and so the WASM module um, potentially has access to itself. Uh, and so that's something we were trying to avoid. Um, it also helps with you know, doing some work in, in the shim itself around like pre-compiled WASM modules, we can compile it once and then re reuse these things across things. So there's there's a bunch of different things. Um, I do have a document that kind of outlines um, this in quite a bit of detail um, around uh, what, what a sample manifest would look like, um, what image layers would look like and um, some different approaches to how we can do this as well as some alternatives that I tried. I tried to a whole bunch of different uh, prototypes and things. Um, but today I thought I'd just kind of show you uh, what one of these looks like. Uh, and then we could maybe just discuss, you know, if anybody has any questions or anything like that. Um, I think the, the big thing that is happening right now on this PR is I pushed up some um, examples of um, what this media layer might look like. Uh, and I think we're trying to figure out what um, what is an actual good specification for the media type that we're using. Uh, but that might become more apparent once I share my uh, sh share what this looks like for a module. Um, can let me make this bigger. Is that big enough, or do I need to make this full screen as well? I would go just a hair bigger. Um, I'm on a laptop monitor, so for me, it's a little bit small, um, and uh, I don't know if there's uh, vision impairments. Uh, so just as, yeah. Okay. It's, it's huge on my screen, so. <laughs> um, I, think, I think it looks pretty good. Is anybody, does anybody have a problem? Oh, that's very small now. Yep, I'm making it that one bigger too. <clears throat> okay. Speak up if uh, if there's any issues. Uh, we can make it bigger if you need it. All right, cool. So um, I already pre-compiled the or, or re already built the WASM components and modules for this for these demos, uh, and also loaded them into a local registry. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just use regctl to list the manifest so that we can see what what that looks like, um, and so. This is the, the image name up here. Um, it's WASM demo OCI latest. Uh, it has a media type of um, OCI image. Um, and this is kind of coming directly out of the artifact um, guidelines that the OCI provides. Um, and then underneath there is we, we're using for the config, we're using the, the image config. Uh, and this is because container D relies very heavily on the configuration um, that is being passed to the shim. Uh, and in the future, um, th th so far this has served us really well. And so, um, but there are one or two things that might be coming up recently that we may need to expand this in some capacity. Um, and, but right now um, that, that's how we're going and, and there's potential to you know, expand the image configuration um, just like we have Linux and, and, and Windows, but maybe have something like WASI to have some extra fields and things like that that are specific to the WASM or, or WASI runtime. Um, and this one here is just a single module. Um, it's a, um, the, I think, 1.1 version of a, a WASM module. 
Um, and so here uh, we, we specified the media type as a WASM. And if we looked at this, it's just the binary itself. And so this will get pulled down by container D, extracted into the content store um, and cached according to that digest. And then that information will get passed over to container D and container D will, um, uh, the, sorry, the run WASI shim will pull that uh, layer and then use it to, to boot the WASM module. Um, so what that looks like is if I, um, let me make sure I've got the right ones here. Yeah, so if I run this command, so this is running uh, CTR, it's a custom built CTR from that PR that I have open. Um, and uh, we're using the WASM time shim. Uh, we're using this image that I've got specified here. Um, and then uh, I'm just saying echo hello. And with any luck, um, this should echo back hello. <laughs> Not very exciting in the, in the, long, in the for a demo, but uh, behind the scenes, container D um, extracted that, post that artifact and then passed it off to the shim. The shim ran a, a scratch image and then ran the um, WASM time executable within that uh, C group runtime. Um, to just quickly show you what this might look like with multiple modules, I'm gonna switch over to this one. So this one is um, uh, using the uh, preview to uh, WASI uh, component model. Uh, and so in this one, we're gonna see I've got um, two WASM components. Um, one of them is a um, service and one of them is kind of a plug into that service. And this is coming directly from like the WASI example uh, in the WASI tools repository. Uh, and then we have a WASM component config. Um, and if we were to look at um, what that looks like, uh, this is just the like WASI compose, which says, you know, we're gonna look inside this path, we're gonna go find the down, downstream service and we're gonna stitch them all together. Um, and so that's the configuration that lets the um, modules figure out how they're supposed to be put back together uh, on the run WASI side when they when they pull that down. Um, and so that's kind of quick overview. <laughs> I know there's a, quite a few concepts going on here. So if anybody has any questions or comments or um, concerns, let me know. But um, I think the biggest thing right now is trying to figure out what we name these things here. Um, and I think uh, there's been a couple different proposals around using like um, the Bitcode Alliance uh, as, as kind of the middle name and then maybe WASM component, something like that. So um, yeah, Let's see, it looks like there's a, Couple comments. Are there any questions? Uh, David raised his hand. Um, <clears throat> this this component thing that you're talking about. Uh, can you explain a little bit more about the components and like that that configuration file? That was a little weird. Sure. Um, let me see. So, um, Wasm has Wasm can has like individual components, and they can be stitched together. Um, and if we went to like the WASM tools repository, um, let me see if I can find. <clears throat> yeah, so I, I essentially took it from this example here. So, um, the WASM tools has this WASM compose. Uh, they have um, a couple components and you can use WASM compose to stitch those components together. When you stitch them together, sometimes you need some extra configuration um, and the configuration that they've provided is um, uh, that, that file that I showed earlier. So um, let's go to the example repository here. So, so what I did here is we've got a um, service and we've got the middleware. And then there's a little bit of configuration that ties those together. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, and so down here is how you kind of use that. So you say, 
uh, WASM tools, compose, and you pass that configuration file and you say this service and this is the middleware. And so that will inject the middleware into the WASM service and tell the service how to use that middleware. Uh, and you'll get a WASM um, module that you can run at the end of, uh, at the end of this. And so uh, that's what run WASI is taking, is taking the configuration, those two WASM modules, and then stitching them together and then running it inside um, the, uh, the shim. A short question from my side. Uh, sure. First of all, this is pretty awesome. So it's it's really getting to the promise of reusable modules. So uh, uh, very happy to see that. Um, is the stitching of the modules already on the uh, main branch for the um, run Wasi? Because I've seen in it the not. okay, I've seen, seen in the repository in your demo you were on the main branch, and uh, I thought I have missed something. So uh, it's it, it's uh, still um, an open pull request. Yeah, so I actually um, the pull request that I've opened into Run Wazi is only using the existing uh, component module that we have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, okay. I but I did. Um, pull these things together and get like a little prototype on the side just to prove that this type of thing could work. Um, I didn't want to spend a whole lot of time on um, the component side of things because that's in so much flux right now that if yeah. I spend a ton of time making that work um, and, and then they change the way that the, the configs go, I, I just... Uh, I don't think that's the focus of the work right now. The focus is kind of like demonstrating how we could potentially use these OCI artifacts. Exactly. So, uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, it's, it's looking very good. Uh, Angel. Yep. Um, yes. Yeah, so, so, yeah, I agree that it's looking really nice how, how everything like stick together or group together in uh, tools that we already know um projects already exist so you can reuse uh the new features from WebAssembly in in all those environments my comment was um i have a comment regarding regarding the for example about the configuration file and it goes in the direction that you were mentioning james because one of the things from what i understood is that wasn't compose is kind of a temporary way to to um yeah to merge and to configure different components together while runtimes work on the final uh component proposal so since those are still some kind of preview things or tools that may disappear in the future when the support is more uh completed then i would say that for the specific types in the I, I know that we are entering the naming space so yeah. I, I know how, <laughs> how painful is that but yeah my only recommendation is that instead of like agreeing on something too generic like config it could be better to have something more specific like compose or config preview instead of v1 for example just to highlight that this may change in the future because for me reading about config I need to go into the details to understand better what's doing um more than thinking from from the name so that that was my my argument but it looks really nice yeah that's that's great feedback um uh, so yeah. i i'd mentioned one of the oh sorry um one, one quick thing i was mentioned david is working on the like uh registry side of things with um warg uh, and so he's he's kind of, there's an open PR there for like how how that would potentially um, look on that side of things. And so we're trying to align those two together uh, so that you could do your developer side warg push and it pushes it into an OCI backend. And then on container D side, you just give the image name and it pulls it all back down. And so you have that whole flow for the developer experience. Uh, so I didn't see who started talking, but go ahead. Oh, it was just me. I just wanted to ask if there are more questions uh, on that or comments. Then uh, I'd like to thank you, James. So uh, thanks for presenting here. Um, are there any last minute changes uh, to the agenda? 
somebody put something on the agenda. Doesn't look like that. So um, if there are no more comments, then I'd like to uh, thank you for participating in our uh, meeting and hope to see you soon. Uh, thank you for, for hosting us, Bang. I'll thank you, David, for the notes. Thanks, everybody. So good to see all these faces. Yeah. <laughs> all right. See you on the interwebs, y'all. See you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Okay. See you. Bye.